tell about your uh, character and uh, experience with uh, Prabha and uh, Radhesha. First of all, I would like to mention that um, doing a Telugu film after a very, very long time and it was an absolute pleasure going on set. I was a little nervous when I was getting ready, but when I came on the set, the first thing that Radha sir said, oh, we are such great fans of yours and it's so nice to have you on set. And everyone was so welcoming and so much of respect and love on the set. Within the first five minutes, I felt absolutely comfortable. And then, of course, Prabhas walked on set and he is everyone's darling and he became my darling also when he just came and said that, oh, we've always watched your movie and it's lovely to have uh, the opportunity to work with you. So, um, yes, it was a very wonderful start. And uh, Manoj sir, the cinematographer, and the sets that have been made for this film is absolutely stunning. I have worked on a lot of sets in back in Mumbai, but this was something else. It was so grand and so beautiful that you felt that you were transported to another world, uh, which was beautiful, so, absolutely. So what was your feeling uh, immediately after listening to the script? Um, I was wondering how I would play his mother, actually, <laughs> as everyone else did. But uh, the story is that of a young mother, and she's also a dancer. So uh, I think as dancers, one learns to maintain your body and uh, exercise, remain fit. So I guess I got into that character well, rather than someone who was plumper, you know? When you have done it as a mother. Mm -hmm. Because of that, you got this role uh, rather notified or? Uh, no, I think both of them came simultaneously within, uh, I think, a week or two of each other. So, uh, Thalaibi was also offered to me and Radhesham was also offered to me around the same time. But I think due to the pandemic and the COVID, you know, the two years of uh, everything getting delayed, I think that's why the films kept on going. Uh, you know, I think the release dates were all messed up and everyone decided to wait up to the theatres were really open. And especially a film like this deserves to be seen in the theatres. So on 11th of March, now, it's releasing and I hope all of you all will come to the theatres to watch it. So what kind of uh, role uh, you have and how the cute and beautiful mother is going to deal with the movie? <laughs> Uh, my role is that of uh, Prabhas's mother. She's also a dancer. She's also a kind of an inspiration why he lives his life the way he does. So, rest of the movie, I think y'all should watch it to understand what I'm playing for him. <laughs> so, what was the most challenging thing uh, for this movie? I think the most challenging part was to uh, play a dance with because I am not, uh, I have not learned Bharat Natyam. I have not learned how to dance. In fact, uh, in a very short span of time, I had to prepare for an entire dance number, which was hardly about five to six days. That's all that I got. And I didn't want to go wrong because, you know, uh, our dance forms in India Beat, Kathak, Bharat Natyam, Kuchipuri, they are, they are tradition. And I think it matters a lot where people have been learning these dance forms for years. And then, especially like in Bharat Natyam, they do their Arangetram. And it takes years to reach that position. So I didn't want to make any mistakes. I didn't want people to point out fingers and say, oh, she's doing this wrong. But it was so difficult for me because even at this age to start learning something, which is people I think learn when they were like that small, uh, it was a process for me. But I think, uh, yeah, I just 
I just hope that I haven't hurt anyone's feelings in that and I hope that people appreciate the hard work in five days and we were shooting in absolute cold weather in Georgia and that's where we had to do this dance sequence. So I was freezing over there while everyone was in their coats and jackets and um, I was bare feet and I had to be dancing over there. So I think that was the most difficult part of this film. Interaction with uh, other actors, co-actors, part of Rivas? I think it was, it was lovely. I, absolutely, I think the atmosphere on the set was more like a family and everyone was eating together, especially during uh, lunchtime. And I think it's thanks to Prabhas, actually, he had such delicious food coming on the set that we would end up all chit-chatting and we had to be told by Radha sir, abhi theek hai, break khatam ho gaya, come on, we need to work because we would all enjoy our lunch breaks over there. Ma'am, what you learned uh, about the Prabhas before the Radha Shyam, what, what, you, what you find about the Prabhas after Radha Shyam? Mm, well, I knew Prabhas from the image he has in Bahubali. So, it's larger than life, it is so humongous that when you you kind of interact with him, you interact with that in mind. But when you meet him, you come across a very, very down-to-earth and very humble person, very soft-spoken and uh, gives lots of respect to his co-stars. So you come across someone who, after achieving such great heights, is also very down-to-earth and very, uh, very real. I think the mark of someone who has achieved or become great in life is when they are humble also. So I think uh, Prabhas has to be credited for maintaining himself, maintaining the beauty of relationships. He has his sisters and his family and his friends always with him. And I think in today's times when the world is changing and people get into more nuclear families and people are not bothered about their elders and their family as such, here to come across someone who is, uh, after being such a huge star, also considers real relationships so much, is uh, is very very nice and refreshing to see. So how what do you, you define your career of 33 years career with 25 films and few TV shows? <laughs> I define my career as just the beginning. It's very small. I'm waiting to do so much more big work right now. Um, when I started my career, I uh, chose my family before my career. I gave it time. I thought that at that point of time, to build a family requires time, requires the foundation to be strong. You have to give enough time for relationships to build, and especially for a woman who is the crux of any household and uh, that's what I did. Now that my children are grown up and they are doing their life on their own and are well versed in what they want to do, I think it's time for me to live my life again. Or as in Hindi film, mein kaha jata hai, Simran ja, jile apni zindagi. My children told me that. Mommy, please go and do what you love. So I'm back here. <laughs> From Menepiakia, from that time to this time, you are looking like that only, so there is no change at all. So, what's your secret of that? And we all have to know that. Um, I think we all talk about health, and it's very important to do things in moderation. So, don't diet too much, drink enough water, sleep enough water, enjoy your life with friends, because I also feel that in India, Especially, we all bond so much over food. We bond over food even during festivals, during weddings, during just family get-togethers. Even if we want to meet a friend, we say, let's meet for lunch or dinner or coffee or chai. When we, in today's times, everyone wanting to become really thin and slim, give up on natural, good food, I think that's where they have the problem, where they are always having medicines. And apart from this, I think what matters most is uh, having sense of gratitude. When you're thankful to God for whatever He's given to you, when you don't carry grudges, you don't look down upon anyone, you're not jealous, you're happy with what life has given you, I think it shows on your face. Ma'am, in December, 
and 1918 and you become a national crush for uh, with the minor oh my family. god you are keeping on saying i'm a national crush no <laughs> <laughs> so you become overnight star so you took heartbreak the decision is it how much impact on that uh, keeping away from the film uh, sorry i didn't understand your question uh, what uh, how much uh, the impact made on you to keep away from the movies it's all about priorities like i said i thought that uh, my giving importance to the family came first and um, then looking after my career apart from that let me tell you in all honesty we have this show right now called star jodi and i have actually said the truth in that that my husband was very possessive he just thought he had a beautiful <laughs> wife he said main duniya ko de dunga to what will happen to me <laughs> so um, he said no i want to keep my beautiful wife in my home and i agreed <laughs> so what's your movie? dream role like i said um because i've are... i've done very few uh, roles so i have lots and lots of work that i would like to do a uh, lots of characters that i would like to explore and lots of youngsters that i would like to work with because so much of cinema is changing now we've all gotten exposed to international cinema because of the ott platforms and um, new kind of roles are being written new kind of films are being made and it's a lot of young minds that are developing these kind of films so yes i would love to work with new talent yeah, so more, can more about uh, so can we expect a more films from from tfi can we expect a more telugu film industry well of course i would love to like i said i'm coming back to the telugu industry after a very long time and uh, of late uh, i think telugu industry has just come on the forefront i mean people would make in bollywood people were always copying films that were made uh, whether it's from the telugu industry or the malayalam industry because i think these two were the ones which had newer scripts uh, newer stories something very different from the normal stories that one would get so it had always been there but now i think the recognition has been more also due to the ott platforms and uh, people are willing to do pan india films so it's not about making a hindi film or a telugu film per se it's about making good films and i think this industry does shell out really good cinema so tell us more about the association with the production house and the producers how was your journey with them well i think um, this was one of the biggest uh, producers that i have worked with and very very ah, hello Yes, you want to come into the interview? <laughs> so I would say that um, doing Radhe Sham, I suddenly saw cinema getting much, much bigger because uh, the kind of production input that has been done in this particular film, the kind of expertise. Um, the kind of vfx that have been done is amazing it is if not more it's at least par to what hollywood has to offer so i think it's not just about per se only action films going into the hollywood genre and doing bigger i think this production house says acha we can have romance done much bigger and grander so here's a romantic film which is more than just grand it is really big so 11th march watch it you want to choose one destiny or love which one will you choose sorry you want to choose destiny or love which one will you choose because the whole film is about love and destiny right i don't think i need to choose love or destiny i think love is written in my destiny that's why aap logo ne maine pyar kiya take us more into the makeup and costumes design associated with your character uh for me radha sir was very very insistent he saying i want a young mother i want you to look beautiful in every frame and i would keep telling him i said yes but i'm playing a mother he saying aren't you a mother and i said yes 
saying, so you are beautiful, you are the mother, and you are mother of two grown-up children. My son and daughter both are grown-up, and uh, people still think they are this small, but no, uh, they are really big. And uh, he said, if you have, can look like this, why don't you turn inspiration to people of your age, that you can still look pretty and you can still be mom. And so I don't want you to uh, put on weight. I don't want you to wear shabby clothes. I want you to carry yourself the way you would. So you, if you have energy and you want to look pretty and you want to dress up well, and that's how I want to present you to uh, the world. So I said, OK, I'm game for that. Why not? So lots of detailing went into having the costume, uh, the color combinations, um, even the hair styling. And he would say, make sure that uh, in every frame you have a different hairstyle, which you feel looks pretty on you. So I think, uh, you know, it's not just about uh, having a good makeup man and uh, hair person or stylist for the heroine. But he made sure that every character felt that their, their character was that important. So, yes. <laughs> so, I wish to see you in many more films back to back. Absolutely. But not like a mother, because you don't look like her. Okay. <laughs> but, but let me tell you one thing, that why can't mothers also be something else? Like, I'm a mother and I'm an actress, and there are mothers who are lawyers, and there are mothers who are police inspectors, and there are mothers who are... Uh, IT professionals and their mothers who are engineers and their mothers everywhere who are doing lots of other things than being mother. So I think being mother is not bad at all. I love being a mother. In fact, I think that's the best role. I hope my children agree to that. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, is, uh, that is something that's very close to my heart. But I feel that um, we can as a society now explore so much more in different fields and I hope that I get the opportunity to do so. Yes, yes, but that that is better when she talks about it. <laughs> so what was the special effort you did to learn Telugu and reciting Telugu dialogue? Um, fortunately, I don't have very long lines. so. I would learn them by heart at that point of time. It was like going back to school again. Ki, uh, you know, you get the sheets of paper and you're supposed to by heart everything. And